So along came DMG with their system that involves, which really has a small footprint, um, which has a printer, a curing unit and a wash station that all work in unison. So I'll talk a little bit more about how this works and, and um, how this works in unison. But the reality is, is that from the time you start a printed product, um, you take it from the printing to the wash station, to the cure station, and all along the way, you know that the product is gonna be washed effectively. You know the product is gonna be cured effectively. So when it's printed at, at the beginning, you know that the final, the final outcome of what you're gonna get is going to be as dimensionally stable as possible. And then we're not um, having as much mess in the office with kind of handling um, models that are resin models. So for those that haven't seen, you know, what the printing process looks like, you basically have a vat of resin and this DLP technology that DMG uses is, um, is using a projector of light to scan across the vat of resin and then that cured resin sticks to itself and it builds the model along the way. DMG's process with regards to um, identification, one of the wonderful parts of their process is that each different type of resin has an RFID, which means radio frequency identification um, tab on it. And actually the um, printer itself has an RFID sensor. So you take the bottle, you spin it so that um, these, this um, radio frequency identification can um, identify itself with the printer. And then you can really eliminate misapplication so that you're always, your printer is always using the appropriate settings based upon the, um, uh, based upon the resin that you're using. So another key point of making sure that the product that you're producing has, has um, high quality is making sure that, that you're constantly using the right settings. And this is one way that um, it, it helps you get there. So I shared earlier a beaker with, you know, alcohol placed in it. This is the, the wash station. And um, this is the 3D wash using isopropyl alcohol. And basically you have a bath, you place your printed product into the bath and the vortex that's created by this wash station um, thoroughly cleans the excess resin washes and, um, and creates a um, really clean final product for you then to take it to the curing unit. And again, from, from our standpoint, um, this was a game changer with regards to being able to um, keep things clean in our laboratory um, this is an automated process as opposed to a manual process that we were using. So it has been much more effective. 